Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check what is Sonar Cube and what is Java code coverage and how we can achieve Java code coverage into our uh, Spring Boot microservices, how we can install Sonar Cube server on Windows and how we can configure microservice into Sonar Cube server. Okay, so in the agenda, like uh, we are going to check the uh, benefits of Sonar Cube code coverage also and why should we use sonar cube uh, like how we can use sonar cube to improve the code quality parameters then uh, mainly we are going to check how we can install sonar cube on windows and how we can uh, do maven configuration with the sonar cube in eclipse ide then what are the commands we can use in order to onboard the our microservice to sonar cube server then how we can generate the token in order to connect with the sonar cube from our microservice then we are going to check what is a code smell how we can check the security ratings and maintainability ratings into sonar cube so to demonstrate this i'm using my blog so blog link is provided into video description so basically what we are doing so we are using this sonar cube server version 10.0 along with java code coverage and spring boot application so we are going to write some unit test cases and build that through maven and uh, with the sonar cube plugin and then we will do code analysis from sonar cube ui so basically question coming into your mind so what is exactly sonar cube means so sonar cube is a code quality assurance tool that collect and analyze the source code and provides the report for the code quality for your project so it combines that static and dynamic analysis tools and enables the quality to, to be measured continuously over time. Okay. So what is mean by code coverage? So Java code is a performed with the actually executing programs like a source code will be checking code smells or uh, different types of exceptions or code validations or loop complexities, cognitive complexities and some rule set in your organization for best practices for the code that we write into our day to day life. So if you talk about the benefits of Sonar Cube, then uh, we get lots of uh, like uh, benefits. Like uh, first is like it will uh, help to improve our quality of code. Then uh, it will uh, grow the developer skills, then continue continuous quality management and reduce the risk and complexity to your code, then uh, increases the productivity by writing your uh, genuine test cases. So it will validate your uh, methods and classes and uh, it will suggest how you can improve and how you can write that method in a better way in order to reduce the risk and uh, complexity of the code. Basically, it will help to write the clean code. So basically, also it will validate your code and detect error if possible. If it is error prone, then it will detect the errors also. So mainly it will help to enhance developer skills. Okay, so why should we use Sonar Cube? So it reduces the risk of software development within the very short amount of time. So it detects the bug and it detects the issues in your code uh, automatically and alerts the developer to fix them as a code smells. It will highlight the normal code mistakes or code validation before rolling out to the production. So how, how this works? So like uh, if you can say, so this is the our ID that, that is the Eclipse or IntelliJ. So here is a code and uh, with this Eclipse, so you can use this plugin. This is called as a SonarLint plugin. So that is uh, residing into your Eclipse. Okay, so it will act same as a sonar cube and it will suggest whatever your uh, code smells or code, va code validation it will do. When we fix all the code validation, then we commit our code or push uh, the changes into Bitbucket or uh, you can say for building to, through the Jenkins or uh, deploy somewhere. Okay, so in between that, so if you have a CI CD pipeline that is a continuous build and conti continuous integration, so in between, so we can configure Java code coverage via Sonar Cube so that it will uh, test the quality of your code and uh, it will generate the percentage of your uh, code coverage into like a Sonar Cube dash. So that is called as a quality gate. So we are going to check that. So let's start. So first, like uh, we are going to install Sonar Cube server. So before that, there are some prerequisites. So we are uh, looking into version 10.0. So here prerequisite is uh, for in to install Sonar Cube server. So we need Java version 17 or if you are using OpenJDK, then also like uh, we need a 17 version of Java. Okay, so, so go to your browser and type uh, download Sonar Cube. 
Okay, so click on this first link. So you will be landed into SonarCube download page. So here we are uh, using this community edition for download. So it is mentioned that uh, for what purpose it, we can use this. So detect bugs and fix vulnerabilities, uh, review the security hotspot, CI, CD, and code quality matrices. Okay, let's say download for free. So it is a 337 MB file. So as per your internet speed, it will take time. Okay, so it's downloaded. So go to folder copy to some other folder extract it here okay so it is completed so now go to bean folder you can see there are lots of uh, options available like for linux for mac os and for windows so go to windows and uh, here you can see start sonar.pat so go to cmd and type start Okay, so this is started now. So this is SonarCube is operational. So process is up. So it will run by default on uh, 9000 ports. So go to localhost and 9000. So you can see it is uh, like asking for SonarCube. So type password as admin. Okay, so our username is admin and password is admin. So change the password okay so this is the sonar dashboard so for now so that there is no project so it is asking to import this project from uh, these sources what we have to do so now just only thing with this uh, sonar cube so we have to generate one token so that can be used while configuring or while running the our microservice so before moving to microservice so let's generate this token so go to this uh, my account details okay and here you can see this is a security tag go inside this and here it is saying that generate tokens okay so give any name for now i'm giving test or i'm giving chat name select token type as a user token and expiry no expiration and let's say generate so you can see this uh, token is generated okay so copy this handy okay so now like uh, we will go to onboard uh, our uh, microservice so now like uh, we can onboard microservice to sonarcube so for this uh, what we have to do we have to generate uh, we have to create one microservice and uh, we have to like uh, configure into sonarcube so for this i'm starting with this uh, spring.io creating spring boot project so select as a maven then uh, the spring version as a 2712 and here type so sonarcube spring boot demo here also sonarcube spring boot demo package name as a com dot stack java version let's keep as a 8 and here add the dependency of spring web and generate okay so project is generated let's import this project okay so we have extracted project so let's import this go to eclipse and uh, go to this import projects mention the path here or go to maven existing maven project next paste the directory save browse you got the pom.xml finish okay so we have to add uh, pom.xml so here uh, we have to add this uh, jacoco plugin for now copy this okay so this is our project pom.xml okay so in bomb.xml so we have a spring starter web dependency along with starter test and uh, we have to add this maven plugin so spring boot maven plugin and uh, we have to add this plugin jacoco plugin that is a java code coverage plugin so it will help to generate the uh, code coverage from your local machine and uh, here uh, we need this maven compiler plugin and this sonar maven plugin so this is important so these plugins are required 
okay, in order to onboard this uh, project to Sonar. Okay, so now moving further, so we will create one controller class. Let's say product controller class. Okay, so this code. Okay, so let's say control shift O in order to input the packages. Okay, so what we are doing here? So we are annotating this as a Spring Boot application along with REST controller. This is the basic example where like a uh, we are getting the product so so via rest call so we are uh, uh, getting these products and uh, what type of products we are getting so that details like uh, we have implemented into into this one method so now like uh, we have to write the test cases genuine test cases for this uh, code that we have defined into this uh, controller so go to src test java and here like you can create one class let's say control shift o in order to input this packages let's say control shift o in order to input the packages so this chapter okay so what we are doing here so we need to add the test cases in order to test the methods into product controller okay so we are automating this with product controller into test and uh, just we are writing this test case, test case in order to like uh, invoke these get products and uh, here we are writing an assertion statement and uh, printing this JML. okay so we are invoking this get products method of controller and we are checking the assertion statement okay so now let's run this java code coverage okay so on local now uh, it is showing some coverage okay so like this 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 product controller is covered by 100 percent so now let's check with the sonar cube also so what we have to do so we have to right click and uh, say run as maven build here we need to define this goal Okay, so so what we are doing here? So we are just uh, cleaning first, then uh, with the Jacobo plugin. So we are just installing this agent. Okay, so apply and say run. Okay, so our build is success. So now like. Uh, our code coverage has run now we have to add this or we have to onboard this into sonar plugin so we have to onboard this into sonar Cube. so what we have to do so there is another command so uh, that i mentioned so sonar hyphen sonar and then we have to add this password so what is password so whatever this generated key earlier from the sonar Cube server From here, like uh, this is generated here. So copy this again, and here you have to write it. Copy this whole command. So in order to see this project here, so we have to run this Maven command. okay that's it so build is success so now you can see so just go to this sonar cube and uh, refresh this go to projects so you can see like this sonar cube spring boot demo project is there so this one sonar cube spring boot demo so that came here so you can see there are uh, bugs vulnerabilities rating is provided and coverage is uh, let's say here it is showing as a 80 percent so go here so you can see there there are options like uh, issues security hotspot measure code and activity 
okay so it is com giving complete analysis of your uh, microservice so how you have written the code so for more information go here so here if you can see these two uh, classes are there so this product controller is covered by 100 percent but uh, this uh, sonar cube spring boot demo application so that is 33 percent so it is not covered okay so what we can do now so first we'll check if there are any code smells okay so here you can see the product controller so remove this duplicate uh, import so these, these are like a code smells so this sonar cube uh, tell you to improve your code and uh, let's see at least one assertion should be there there into test case remove this public modifier where to remove it so here remove this public modifier okay so like this uh, it will mention this so you can write the protected so it will give suggestions also okay so let's do that let's do this protected and uh, like we can add one test case here okay so in order to invoke this main method so i am writing this test case the protected and in product controller so i am removing this imports control shift o in order to organize the import and here also I will do control shift O in order to organize imports. I will remove the sysouts also because it's highlighting sysouts also, I think. Okay, so it is saying replace this with system.logger. Okay. <clears throat> so that's it. So we have fixed code spells also and uh, we try to increase the code coverage also we can go this so so we have to run these two steps for, for now i have run this uh, clean and uh, prepare agent install then again we will do this uh, sonar password let's allow this java access over this so this build is success now again go to run as maven build and the sonar in order to onboard this coverage into sonar let's run it okay so what your build is done so let's verify this so go to this sonar cube and let's say refresh now go to projects so if you can see we have a coverage of 100 percent now so go here go to our code so you can see coverage on so our both of the classes are covered with 100 percent coverage okay so let's see the issues also so see uh, the previous issues are gone now so remove unused this variable so they, yeah we can remove it further so add at least one assertion so we cannot add assertion on uh, like a spring boot main uh, test case so like this like uh, we can uh, like minimize this uh, security hotspots or uh, code smells or if you can see there are uh, these are like ratings so this is a reliability rating on your code so currently this is a means very good so security rating so it will check for vulnerabilities with the security and uh, overall the maintainability of your code it will check okay so this always should have uh, like uh, between 80 to 100 percent okay so in order to summarize this so we have seen how we can uh, uh, download and install sonar cube server and uh, we have created spring boot microservices written the JNA test cases while building through maven integrated sonar cube uh, using sonar cube and maven plugins and uh, we have done code analysis via sonar cube ui so this is about sonar cube so stay tuned for further sessions and uh, thanks a lot for watching Thank you.